Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at FiTech, students. Today we're going to learn how AFR Learn and Trim work. So today's video, the basic idea is we're going to cover how AFR Trim and Learn work to get the AFR target out of your Phytec unit. So with my 2D CAD drawing of your monster engine, the Phytec is controlling the fuel, the throttle blades control the air coming in, the map sensor is going to read the vacuum basically, the coolant temperature sensor is going to read the temperature of the engine, and then the most important sensor for this is going to be your wideband oxygen sensor that's placed in the exhaust. The oxygen sensor is reading the lambda that's coming out of the engine, which means like the burn ratio. We're converting it into signals and calculating what the actual air fuel ratio is based on gasoline. So if you're using other fuels, the numbers in here will show the same for us, but they may actually be different air fuel ratios, such as like ethanol, E85 might be nine to ones, but we still keep the AFR numbers because we don't want to change everything for every customer based on their fuel used. So the Phytech software is going to calculate, based on MAP and RPM, how much fuel it needs to inject. So it's going to calculate a pulse width of fuel that gets sprayed into the airstream as it comes into the engine. The pulse width is going to be based on the volumetric efficiency, which is based on MAP and RPM. You know, maybe at high throttles, you may be even over 100% volumetric efficiency, meaning how much air you're taking in. We know the injector flow rate based on production and fuel pressures. So we now need to calculate how long I need to turn on the injector for each cycle. So that cycle calculation comes up with a number that's in pulse width. That's how long we turn on the injector. So the injector gets sprayed on for a little bit of time, pretty small amounts between say two milliseconds and 16 milliseconds, depending on RPM and load. But the interval is based on RPM. So the RPM is controlling how often we're spraying. Every tack signal will spray, maybe at idle we'll skip every other one, but at anything open throttle, we're going to be spraying the injectors every single tack signal or RPM signal from a distributor or on a LS engine it will be, you know, for every time the crank position is calculated to be in the right position for sequentially injecting an injector. Part of that calculation is going to be the AFR target. The AFR target is a desired air fuel ratio output. We also use it as part of the input calculation so that I'm spraying the right amount of fuel based on known parameters such as injector flow rate, volumetric efficiency, and the operating conditions that are measured. I can say this pulse width needs to be so long in order to make that true. So with the VE table, other sensor readings, air fire targets, I have to calculate a pulse width, but I have to use the injector flow rate information I'm going to show you a little bit about how different size injectors flow differently based on their orifice sizes internally, but also how the pulse width changing causes the flow to come out at different flow rates. So now I'm going to use this injector flow bench to demonstrate how the injector pulse width affects the fuel flow, how the injector flow rate affects the fuel flow, how the fuel pressure affects the fuel flow, and how the pulse rate such as RPM would affect the total fuel flow. So in the injector flow bench, I've got two dash five injectors, a dash three, and a dash six. So these two should be the smallest, this one's the biggest, and this one's somewhere in between, but not too far from that one. I'm gonna run the first test at 12 milliseconds for one minute, pulsed at 100 milliseconds interval. So that'll be roughly 12% duty cycle, but the 12 milliseconds is the key thing to factor out of the pulse width. So after a minute of pulsing at 12 milliseconds at a 100 millisecond interval, these two flowed the same, the bigger injector flowed the most, and the medium injector flowed in the middle. So these injectors are being pulsed on for 12 milliseconds, and every 100 milliseconds it would actually pulse again and again and again repeatedly for a minute. So that's exactly how an engine works with the, these fuel injectors, they're pulsing on for a short time waiting for the next cycle, pulsing on for a short time, waiting for the next cycle. 
that pulse width is what I'm adjusting in the computer on the fly based on different sensor readings and I'm also going to be trimming it with the air fuel ratio control trim and learning. So these are in our 500 horsepower LS kits. This is in a mean street and that's in our 750 horsepower LS kit. So the small injectors float about 42 cc's. The biggest one was 88 cc's and the medium one was a 73 cc. I'm going to adjust the pulse width now down to 6 milliseconds to show you that it should be roughly half the fuel flow. So this is with 6 milliseconds flow. You can see it's a lot different than the 12 millisecond flow. So with six millisecond pulses, but at the same 100 millisecond interval, i.e. the same RPM on an engine, we're getting a little bit less than half of the flow. So on the smaller injectors, we're at about 19 cc's. The biggest one is about 39 cc's, and the medium one, 31 cc's. So that demonstration shows how the computer adjusts the fuel flow rate coming out of the throttle body. The injectors themselves are fixed rate. The fuel pressure should be fixed based on your pump and regulator. And uh, the pulse interval is actually the RPM. The pulse width is determined by pre-calculations such as MAP, fluent temperature, and what other you know, things you might have for air fuel ratio targets and stuff like that. And then on top of that, the AFR trim and learn will adjust small amounts in order to get the AFR to be actually matching the target AFR. So with that injector flow information, the computer knows how much injected fuel it needs to put in to get the right AFR out of the engine, but not everything's perfect, so we've got to adjust it on the fly.